total cash balance during a budget. It is a mechanism for controlling and coordinating the fiscal side of a business to ensure solvency and provides the basis of forecasting and financing requirement to cover up the deficiency of cash. It means it is a balance and bridge between your forecasting and financial requirement and how the things to be covered up would be arranged through this cash budget. So cash budget thus plays a vital role in financial management of the business undertaken. Now see here the functions of cash management or cash budget. It makes sure that enough cash is available within the enterprise. It designates cash exceeds and shortages so that steps may be taken in time to invest any excess cash or to borrow funds to meet the any shortages. In that sense, if you, if you find out any scarcity of cash or if there would be any amount of shortages of cash, then immediately identify and try to find out the sources to borrow the cash in the business. It shows whether capital expenditure could be financed internally or it provides funds from the standard growth. So ultimately, it is a sound basis to manage a cash action in the business. Now see the advantages of cash budget. First is usage of cash. Management can plan out the use of cash in accordance with the changes of receipt and payment. So they need to identify how much receipt is possible and how much payments are to be made during the year. On the balance of the receipt and payment, they may be planned for the requirement of cash and usage of cash. So payments can be planned when the sufficient cash is available and continue the business activity with the minimum amount of a working capital. Next is allocation for capital investments. It is a dual benefit such as capital expenditure project can be financed internally and get an idea for cash availability of a capital investments. Next is position of excess funds. Now here through the cash budget, the company and the management can get an idea if there would be any amount excessive in the business. In this regard, management can decide to invest the excess funds in certain securities or funds for a short term durations or maybe a long term duration to realize the fund at the time of requirement in future to the business. So this is what all about the provisions of access fund. Payout policy. The budgetary system may help the management for future payout policy in the form of a dividend or regular interest. In case the cash budget liquid position is not favorable, the management may reduce the rate of a dividend or maintain a dividend or maybe sometime skip a dividend for a particular year. Next is provision for acquiring funds. Sometimes on the basis of the cash budget, if the management get an idea that the fund has been shortage and there is immediate requirement of funds, then in that case, they will identify the acquiring funds from the particular sources as well as for a particular duration and time the sum amount of explored that sources from the available situation. Next is profitable use of cash. Business person can take decision for the best use of liquidity to make more and more profitable transaction. That means the cash must be invested in such type of security where the maximum amount of profitability can be raised. It can be used at the time of a bulk purchase payments and one get out of benefit of a different discounts and commission from the transaction. Moving to the next point that is limitation of cash budget. There are certain limitations of cash budget in which the first is complex assumption. Business is full of uncertainties. 
it means that when your business runs smoothly and then suddenly the global scenario has been changed or maybe the government policy has changed or maybe uh, any natural calamity the thing has been reversed and in that reason you might be facing some issues where you prepared a budget that budget may not be succeed so it is very difficult to have a near perfect estimates of cash receipts and payments especially for a longer duration inflexibility if the finance manager fails to show flexibility in implementing the cash budget it will incur adverse effect so that means if they are not very much flexible to implement it of this budget there might be a reverse impact in the business it is very costly because of this application of a technique necessity requirements of a huge staff huge skilled people as well as the environment of the budgetary system in that sense the various sources of the experts person and operational research could be the costliest task and deal in the business so this is what all about a limitation of cash budget so for the cash budget we have a few methods to um, uh, to resolve and try to identify how the cash budget would be effective in the organization let's discuss one by one the first is receipt and payment method it is a very popular and universal based method where all the people have an idea to prepare receipt and payment account and get an understanding of a cash budget the assumption of a statistical data is arrived at calculated on the basis of a requirements like a monthly basis quarterly basis weekly basis or maybe a fortnightly basis so cash receipts from the customers are based on sales forecasting so cash how the cash receipts are going to receive that is on the basis of sales forecasting cash receipts from the other sources like dividend received interest received or any amount of the trade investments the cash requirements cash payments for the purchase of raw materials labor expenses salary cost expenditures and any overheads like administrative selling and distribution or maybe a direct expenditures also so cash requirements for other purposes like payment of dividend taxes and other penalties also so these are the requirements in that case the cash receipts generally main source of cash receipts is sales only where the payment has been purchases and the amount of paid at the time of our labor expenses and direct materials now another method is adjusted profit and loss account this method is based on cash and non cash transaction in the receipt and payment account it is prepared on the basis of a cash transaction here it is prepared on the basis of cash and non cash transaction this method estimates closing cash balance by converting a profit into cash so closing cash balance we assume it is actually a part of a or a closing cash balance it's converting into a profit and part of cash the hypothesis of this method is that the earning of profit brings equal amount of cash into business it means the whatever the amount of earning of profit would be considered as cash the net profit shown by profit and loss account does not signify the actual cash show in into the business because it is adjusted pnl account and there are non cash items also included next method that is budgeted balance sheet method this method looks like a way adjusted profit and loss account method only except that in this method a balance sheet is projected and in that method profit and loss account is adjusted so the method of balance sheet is prepared with the projected amount of all assets and liabilities except cash at the end of the budget period so the cash balance will find out the balancing amount in the case this is what all about the methods of a cash budget now in the final phase of this cash budget segment here 
this is a format of cash budgeting here i am just actually estimated in front of you for explanation of this format that i have an information for three months of the one organization that is january february and march and i wanted to get an idea what would be the cash budget of this particular organization and under this cash budget which are the items to be recorded here it would be divided into a two parts the one is a receipt and the other one is a payment so now in the sense of that the start with this information is always with the opening balance so how much opening balance would be written in the first month then we would be getting an idea which are the receipts that all the receipts would be added into the opening balance the receipts may be as we already discussed in the progress part that cash sales is maybe a receipt receipts from the debtors where you make a credit sales and the amount has been received from the debtors interest and dividend income some amount of sale of fixed assets and investments bank loan issued of shares uh, and debentures or maybe there are some other type of incomes all these incomes are added into the month of january and find out the total receipts of a then the payments in case of the payments here the cash purchases are the first payment in case of there would be any credit payments credit purchase payments paid to the creditors salaries and wages is a big expenditures and big payments then the administrative and selling and distribution overheads dividend payable then the purchase of fixed assets and investments repayment of loan payment of taxes these are the total payments and then the total payments would be deducted from the total receipts your closing balance of the respected month and that closing balance would be carried forward in the month of february again same things would be happened added all the amount of receipts find out the total receipts and payments would be deducted and at last you would be getting an idea what would be the closing balance in the month of march so this is what all about a cash budget format let's move the another method that is a flexibility method and under the flexibility there are two methods one is the fixed budget and other one is a flexible budget let's start with the fixed budget a fixed budget is prepared for one level of output and one set of condition it means that the budget in which a targets are tightly fixed it is known as a static budget and that's why according to the cima a budget which is designed to remain unchanged irrespective of the level of activity attained it is called a fixed budget so whenever the activity level has been changed shaking moving but if the amount of activity is actually remain same and attending that was considered a fixed budget a budget is not useful because conditions go on the changing and cannot be expected to the firm this budget is not useful because the conditions go on the changing and cannot be expected to the firm so on the basis of the changing events on the basis of the continuous movements maybe the budget would not be perfect and you may not be judging for your futuristic plan it is hardly of any use as a mechanism of a budgetary control because it does not make any difference between fixed semi variable and variable cost and does not provide any space for alteration in the budgeted figures fixed budget is should be prepared only when the sales production and cost can be accurately estimated this is what the fixed budget now the another one is a flexible budget the fixed budget is was a static budget this is a dynamic budget in comparison with the fixed budget a flexible budget is one which is designed to change in relation to the level of activity that means as per the activity it may be ready to change and identify the level of changes and attending the activity and that's why it's considered as a flexible budget the underlying principle of flexibility is that the budget is a little used uh, unless the cost and revenue are related 
to the actual volume of production. So that means the amount of the cost and revenue is try to manage the actual value and actual production. So flexible budgets are a part of the feed uh, advance process and as such are useful for a systematic planning. It is more sensible and practical because changes expected at a different level of activity are given due to a consideration. Let's see, the budget might be prepared for various level of activity in accord with the capacity utilization. Few conditions are there like where the level of activity varies from period to period. That means they need to identify that the where the actually activity of le activity level has been changed. Where the business is new and as such it is difficult to forecast the demand. So that means they need to take an opportunity where the things has been changed, where the things has been new to identify for the forecasting. Where the organization is suffering from the shortage of any specific factor of production like material factor, labor factor or any other factor. Where the nature of business is such the sales go on changing and changing and where the changes in fashion on trend affects the production as well as the sales. So this because of these are the reasons the flexibility budget is very much approved and fruitful for the organization. Now if we find out the uses of flexible budget. If a flexible budget numbers are adjustable to any given set of operating conditions then more sensible than the fixed budget which is true only in one set of operating environment. So that means that in case of flexible budget we would be getting a more and more micro level of the situation can be observed. Flexible budgets are also useful from viewpoint of controlling. So as last flexible budgets are more realistic, practical and useful. Preparation of flexible budget. The preparation of flexible budget requires the analysis of total cost into fixed and variable. The analysis of total